We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah,、oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Hello, guys! Welcome back to the YouTube channel, and welcome to my second moving vlog. We are in the new house. This is it. We have been in. Like, we've had the keys for about three hours now, and everything's in. We are just now sorting stuff out. Like, it is. To be fair. A lot more organised than it was about an hour ago. So we've just been cracking on tunes on, and we've just been like unpack—not even unpacking, but like moving things into the right place and like thinking about where things are going to go. Because obviously, when you have like storage solutions for like a certain house, that's not going to work in a different house. So yeah, we've got a lot of reconfiguring to do and like figuring out where we're going to put things. But I have got a little sort of house tour for you guys. It was. Completely empty, and Ash did a little tour for you. Um, it was like he wasn't speaking or anything. He just like went round because I was with George at his nursery settling in session when Ash got the keys. So he went around and did a little tour for you guys. So I think I'm just going to do like a little voiceover now, so you can see like all of the rooms, and I'm going to tell you like who's in which room, what the plans are for each of the rooms, and things like that. And then I'll see you at the end. Okay, so this is our lovely entrance way. We've got loads of storage on the left there, and that's going to be where our shoes and stuff go, and coats and things. And then we've got a really wide open hallway, really easy to get buggies in, all that stuff. It's so bright in here as well because there's windows everywhere, and I'm just really, really, really pleased with it. Our other one was really dark and dingy, whereas this one's really nice and airy. Obviously, we've got a downstairs toilet as well, which is not something that we've had before, so I'm very pleased with that. That's something that we're probably Do quite quickly in terms of just like a little revamp, a little DIY or something. But we're so happy with how the house is already. That yes, we'll do things in the long term, but for now we're quite happy to just stay as it is and just chill out for five minutes. This is the living room area. This is where they had their sofa and stuff, and I think we're going to do the same. And then you kind of come round, and this is like the dining. Area, so I think we're going to probably knock that wall down between the kitchen and the dining room and make that all one big space.、Um, but for now, I'm really happy with how it is. It's just the carpet with food and George and the dog, and I just think maybe we'll have to get some hardwood flooring. But I am actually going to get a carpet cleaner just to get this nice and clean, and hopefully that will do the trick. Then coming back through to the hallway and into the kitchen. The kitchen is a little bit smaller than our previous kitchen. However, like I said, the plan is to knock that wall down that's staring at right now and make it a big kitchen diner and potentially do a little extension to do some sort of utility area.、Um, but we haven't one hundred percent made our minds up yet. And like I said, we're quite happy and content to just sort of live with it for a while. The、um, previous owners also did us a little card and everything and left us some、um, prosecco with all the keys and stuff, which. Was really really kind and let us know what day bin day was and all that kind of stuff. So it was really really helpful. But yeah, I do think I want to keep this hallway nice and clear because it's just so wide and spacious, and I absolutely love that. We're gonna head upstairs now, and I absolutely love these carpets. By the way, they're gonna be so good for dog hairs. Our previous ones like got loads of dog dog hairs like stuck in them all the time, whereas these ones I don't think will. Hopefully, anyway. Um, we've got like a nice big bright window at the top of the stairs as well, so it keeps the landing nice and bright. And then this. This is like the family bathroom. I do really like this bathroom, the size of it and everything. It needs updating at some point, but I don't think it's the first thing on the list to do. And then this is George's new bedroom. It's so much bigger than his last bedroom. Um, if you guys saw my last vlog, you would have seen that George had the box room in our previous house, and in this one, he's got the second largest um bedroom. So I'm really really pleased with that. And we've got all of the um like built-in wardrobes in there as well, which I'll show you in a future vlog. And then back out to the landing, we've obviously got our main bedroom, which is the biggest room. I think it looks a little bit dark on the video just because the blinds are down, and also the sun sort of wasn't on that side of the house at that point in time. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think we're going to do too much to this room, to be honest. Our bedroom is 
always going to be the last priority. I can't wait to decorate George's room and the downstairs and stuff like that though. And then this is our third bedroom. So this is just going to be our spare bedroom. We're going to get some sort of day bed or something like that. But for now we do have like a futon that we had in our living room previously. But I think we'll just pop that in here for now. We do actually have an office at the back of the garden as well. But Ash didn't film that. So I'll show you that in the next vlog. Which brings us to now. So we're currently in the garden. Um, it's such a boiling day. Um, so what a day to move but honestly I'm just I'm just so happy that this is our house I, I genuinely can't believe it like it doesn't feel real yet at all um, but yeah there's lots of plans lots of things that we want to do but for now I think we're just going to chill out enjoy what we've got and not think about the next thing for once in our lives like we're always thinking oh what's next what's next when are we getting married when are we going on our honeymoon when are we having a baby when are we as you know like it's just constant so I think we're gonna just chill out for a little while decide what we want to do live in the space a little bit and then yeah and then do some stuff and I think I think I would really like to knock this wall down because through there is the kitchen and then have like a kitchen diner and then that window you can see is the front of the house which is the living room area so maybe have like a dividing door or something like that but god knows and to be honest I'm in absolutely no rush whatsoever um yeah I'm super happy. Everything went smoothly in the end and I really couldn't wish for anything more. Um, I am coming down with a little bit of a cold though, so I think I'm gonna love you and leave you. I'm sorry this was a little bit of a short one, but I'm really glad that I got to show you the new house when it was empty. And the next one will hopefully be a little bit of a slightly unpacked house tour slash vlog, moving vlog, a thing of whatever. I don't really know. I'm back to work in a couple of days, so God knows if the house is gonna be anywhere near unpacked, but we'll see. <laughs> anyway, I love you, Navy, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby